Welcome everyone, are you ready for the big game? The Super Bowl's just around the corner and you know what that means? It means it's time to make some epically delicious snacks. But this year I'm gonna take things to a whole new level. I'm gonna show you how I make two incredibly delicious snacks, appetizers for the big game day. I'm gonna be making them today or starting them today. I'm gonna be making bacon cheeseburger shotgun shells and I'm gonna be making the most incredible queso dip that you've ever tasted in your life. These snacks are so good, they'll even make Tom Brady's defensive line look like total amateur. So I want you to grab a plate, grab a napkin, and let's get after it. Okay, the first thing we're gonna start out with is our bacon cheeseburger shotgun shells. So I've got two pounds of ground meat. I'm gonna add in about a half a cup of diced onions. Get them all in here. I've got about a quarter cup of chipotle peppers and adobo sauce that I chopped up. Gonna get those in here. It's real simple, but man, it is so good. And I've got about two teaspoons of Montreal steak seasoning that I'm gonna sprinkle on here. And I've got 10 ounces of shredded cheddar cheese that I'm putting in here. Man, I'm getting it everywhere. That's all right, it's still gonna be good. Now we're gonna take this and we're just gonna mix it up really good. Get all of this mixed together. It's gonna be one big ball of goodness here. Man, if you've never tried these bacon cheeseburger shotgun shells, you don't know what you're missing. They are so good. Man, I never have any leftovers whenever I make these. We're going to start with these because they actually take the longest because we need to let them rest for a little while in the refrigerator. Okay, I've got it all mixed up. i got me a nice big ball of it here. Now we're going to start stuffing our shells. You just take a shell and you take a little bit and you start it in there. And you just want to pack it full. I know a lot of people say that you need to use a plastic baggie with the corner cut out. I just prefer to do it this way. To me this is easier and faster. It's just me and you just get this stuffed in there. You want to get it at least halfway, if not all the way through. Then you take a little bit, and you just pack it in here, like that. Make sure you get it all the way to the end. I like mine to be full. Okay. Now, once you get it full and packed real good, now you're gonna take a piece of bacon and you're gonna start and you wanna cover as much of the shell as you can. And you're just gonna lightly over, just barely overlap it as you go around. And you wanna stretch it a little bit because you should be able to use one strip of bacon per manicotti shell. And you just go around. Just like that. All right. Now I'm going to get the rest of these done. And I'll be right back with you. Okay, we've got our shotgun shells stuffed and we got them wrapped in bacon. Now we're just going to put a light coat of the Montreal steak seasoning on all of them. That ought to be good right there. Okay, just like that. Now, these are going in the refrigerator overnight. 
You want to make sure you put them in the refrigerator overnight. That gives the texture of the manicotti shell it's softer. It the with the bacon and the meat inside, it needs to be in there overnight. So I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator overnight, and I'll see you in the morning. We'll finish these up. Good morning, and welcome back. Our shotgun shells that we put in the refrigerator last night. We're gonna be taking them out in a minute, but first we're gonna mix up our queso that's go and we're gonna put them both on the smoker together because we're gonna smoke them both together. So well, what I've got, I've got two pounds of Elbita cheese in there, one big block in here. Now I've got one pound of breakfast sausage. Now I used some Jimmy Dean sausage. You can use whatever type of sausage you want. Get that over here. And I've got one can of Rotel tomatoes that's going right there, just like that. I got one can of cream of mushroom soup that we're going to put right in there. Yeah, if I can get it out of the can, there we go. There we go. Just one can of cream of mushroom soup. Now, I've got a half of a red bell pepper that I diced up. This is this this thing's gonna be loaded up. I got half of a medium onion that I diced up going in here. Now then I've got one whole block of cream cheese that's going in here. Just like that. Turn that over here. And I've got one whole jalapeno that I chopped up that's going in here. Now we're going to add in two teaspoons of ancho chili powder. Right on there. One teaspoon of cumin. One teaspoon of smoked paprika. One teaspoon of granulated garlic. Going right on there. And I've got a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper that's going in here. Okay, now then, I've got eight ounces of Monterey Jack cheese that we're just gonna put on here. And I got eight ounces of Pepper Jack cheese that's going on here. All right, now we're gonna add one more thing about 30 minutes from now when it's, while it's cooking. So let me get the smoker up to temp. I'll get the shotgun shells out. We'll get both of them on there. We'll make us up some killer appetizers. Okay, we got our pellet grill up to temp. We're using pecan pellets today and we're running about 300 degrees. We're gonna let this go on there for an hour. Every 15 minutes, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna check this, maybe stir it, if it's good and melted already. And at the half hour mark, I'm gonna add something to this that's gonna just take it up another notch. So stick around for that. Let's go get them on. All right. Slide these babies right on there. Slide this right on there just like that. Now, see you in 15 minutes. Yeah, it looks good. Man, look at this. Now then, here comes some secret sauce right here. Now I'm using Corona. You can use any kind of beer you want. You want to just put about a quarter of a cup in there. 
this is the last 15 minutes. Just stir it up. Okay, we got about 10 minutes left. Now we're going to sauce these things. little line on them just like this if I can get it to come out there we go about 10 more minutes we'll be ready and there you have it two game changing appetizer dishes for your Super Bowl party Hey, if you like this video or if you found it informative, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the thumbs up button down there. And as always, I really appreciate you watching. Now, you know I got to dive into these, but before we do, man, these are so easy. You're going to love these. Now, on the shotgun shells, just you can just slice them up into small slices like this. Get it out here where you can see it. And then, then you can just stick toothpicks in them to serve them, like that. Man, they look good, too. I'm going to have to try me one of these. Mm. Oh, Lord. Man, they are good. Now, you know I gotta try some of this queso dip too. Both of these are just so easy to make. And they'll be the hit of any party you have, I guarantee it. I really hope you give these a try, because I know you'll enjoy them just as much as our family does. So, I wanna send a thanks out to everybody that watches my videos and all of my channel members and all my subscribers. I really appreciate it. I want to send a special thanks out to all the men and women serving law enforcement and all of our first responders. And I also want to thank all of our active military personnel that are serving around the world and to all of our veterans. And until next time, thank you very much.